This is Funky Worms, and this is my computer security for Poker Players series. And this video is going to be covering network security. So when I'm talking about network security, I'm referring to uh, essentially your cable modem to your computer, uh, that area, your local area network. Uh, network security also is um, concerned with c security over the internet, but generally uh, you're not going to be exposed too much over the internet uh, unless you're connecting via unsecured connections to uh, sensitive data, which is generally very difficult to do now. So since all of the uh, e-commerce sites are encrypted, your post poker sites are encrypted, um, your banking sites are encrypted, so really just we're focusing on uh, local network security here. And uh, this wouldn't be complete without an LOL cat. So um, the first thing to do is uh, you should be using a router, router with NAT. That's a network address translation. Uh, do not plug your computer directly into your cable modem or DSL modem. Uh, NAT, you know, sort of uh, unintentionally provides a firewall for your system uh, because uh, any requests coming from the outside uh, will simply be your fire, your router won't know what to do with it and essentially will drop the uh, the packets. Uh, this is a protection measure for you uh, in that someone can't just connect to you uh, without you initiating the connection. Now this is not necessarily the case if you have port forwards enabled. Um, you should be encrypting your Wi-Fi connection with WPA2 and a very strong passphrase. Uh, if you're still using WPA, WEP, or uh, no encryption, uh, you should very strongly consider switching to WPA. Uh, while it is, in my opinion, safe to connect to a poker site on an unencrypted network because your poker traffic will be encrypted, uh, it if it's your network, uh, there's really no reason to not encrypt it with WPA2. A strong passphrase is something that is greater than 14 characters and uses a combination of capital and lowercase letters, numbers, and special symbols. Now, I would also uh, consider using a third-party firmware based on Linux, such as Tomato. Uh, for extra security and reliability and features, uh, Tomato can be found at polarcloud.com slash tomato. Um, I recommend Tomato um, over DDWRT uh, because I had some stability issues with that program, or that firmware I should say. And uh, with Tomato, I am currently have a router that has over a year uptime uh, without a reset. Uh, and it's been going strong. Uh, for for very high security, uh, I recommend a gateway appliance with a built-in antivirus and intrusion defense. Uh, and I like to use the open source uh, gateway appliance called Untangle. You can uh, install Untangle on uh, an old computer and it's completely free and open source and provides an incredible amount of granularity in configuring how exactly you want your network to function. Uh, that might be above the head of most people, but uh, it's really an excellent tool and you can have antivirus at your network gateway, which means that everything that's coming into your network is scanned with an antivirus before it hits any of the computers on your network, uh, which is a huge advantage. So in addition to offering a uh, 
Gateway Antivirus Untangle will also allow you to um, run a dual WAN uh, gateway, which allows you to plug in multiple um, internet connections. So you can have a cable connection and a DSL connection with WAN failover. If one of them goes out, uh, it fails over to uh, the other connection. And it do, does this in, uh, you know, around five seconds. So you may time out, uh, but you won't. If you're uh, 30 tabling sit and goes, you will be able to recover, and it won't be disastrous. So I definitely recommend checking out Untangle, uh, especially if you have a free computer sitting around. Uh, you can get Untangle set up uh, completely free because it's a free and open source. Uh, program. But uh, let's take a look at Tomato here. Um, so the uh, the only drawback with Tomato is that it's only supported on certain devices that use a certain uh, chipset. Uh, some of those devices, the most popular of those devices are the uh, Linksys WRT54G uh, versions 1 through 4 uh, the GS versions 1 through 4 and the uh, WRT 54 GL. Uh, n neither the uh, 54 G or GS are still uh, in production, but you can find them super cheap on Craigslist. And uh, for $10 or $15, you can have a router that is uh, much more stable and more secure than a router that you might pay $100 for right now. Uh, the GL is actually still available. You can buy it on Newegg. Uh, and it's uh, it's just an outstanding router once you uh, put the tomato firmware on it. And uh, installing firmware is very simple. Unfortunately, I'm not going to do it in this video because I don't have a spare router to uh, install it on. But it's really just as simple as... Uh, finding the uh, the firmware uh, image and copying it, plugging into the router and copying it over. Uh, there's an extensive guide uh, for Tomato at this uh, Wikibooks site. Uh, it gives you all the information about different Tomato mods, uh, supported devices, and then uh, features. Uh, the interface for tomato is very slick. It's a Ajax interface, which uh, if anybody knows, it's like a, a JavaScript type interface uh, with it's a very easy to use interface and very intuitive, uh, much easier than the uh, default Linksys, Netgear, Belkin, whatever. Uh, interfaces and it's a lot easier to use. So uh, we can also take a look at Untangle see what that can do for us. Uh, like I said, the open source gateway, you can install it on really an old computer is capable of running it, especially if your uh, network is has less than 10 computers on it. Uh, you can install it for free and uh, it's really a, a great product. You can install Untangle uh, as your gateway and then plug in uh, your uh, Linksys router into it. So you'll have un Untangle as your gateway and uh, your Linksys router will simply be a bridge behind your, uh, your gateway to provide wireless uh, for your network. So, uh, not a whole lot of demonstrations I can do for uh, securing your network, uh, but I hope you uh, check out these examples. Uh, this is pretty much the best uh, software I've found uh, that even a novice is capable of configuring. So, if you have any questions, uh, leave me a comment or question in the thread.